My name is Willie J. Thompson. I'm a senior economics major with a minor in Chinese studies from Griffin, Georgia. And my moral story actually might be a little different from most. Um, I've definitely been challenged academically, been challenged spiritually, even been challenged politically, as you can see. <laughs> I didn't, don't have as much hair as I used to when I came in. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm a Chinese studies minor and hadn't been out the country before I got to Morehouse. I mean, barely been out the state. <laughs> and it was really going to China the first time my freshman summer for three weeks um, with the director of the Chinese program, Dr. Henrietta Young, then at that moment. And that gave me the inspiration to go apply for the Critical Language Scholarship in which I was able to live in Suzhou, China for seven weeks. I mean, you know, I've also been blessed to have some opportunities to go to South Africa, um, Zimbabwe, um, with the Andrew Young Center for Global Leadership. I've even got a chance to go to South Africa again for spring break with the spring tour in the Division of Business and Economics. So it's just been life-changing, eye-opening to see just how the world works um, outside of outside of you know the small town that is Griffin, Georgia. And I've definitely been able to learn so much from my experiences in regards to politics, economics, um, in regards to um, you know activism. And I think that being able to experience have these experiences internationally um, is definitely giving me a broader perspective on, um, on my views in regards to a number of areas. So, you know, definitely life-changing for me because I got to make so many great friends outside of Morehouse um, who, who really support me um, in my endeavors to do international work in the future. Being a, announced a Fulbright Scholar, especially with the uh, ETA program, now I get to give. It's just an opportunity for me to do some impactful work with with young minds and to give them, first off, a different impression of African American man, right? You know, based on my experiences in China, I mean, I'm, off, I'm either a basketball star or some sort of celebrity, but you know, once I built those connections, they're able to see, yeah, I'm a student, um, I'm just trying to learn, trying to, uh, trying to better you know, myself and better my community. You know, the ultimate goal for me is uh, I want to found an international school, uh, international fine arts school to improve international relations between countries. So. I want to use the fine arts as a conduit uh, between countries that normally have conflict. Um, I've met so many great guys, I call them br brothers now, um, who were seniors when I was a freshman, Daenerys Frazier, Terrell Champion, um, and you know, now I have a larger network of brothers you know, around my age, you know, the Jeffrey Goldens of the world, Ari Flemings, Todd Etheridge's, Brian Camps, Smith and Lewis's. I just put these names out because you know, they, I built genuine relationships with these people um, who I can call my brothers. and. You know, we've had so many discussions, so many um, trying times in our lives, but I think what Morehouse has really taught me is that that all the brothers that I've made over this experience will be with me for a lifetime. So it's definitely a blessing to have in my life and to be able to have a support system that I know has my best interests at heart. I want students to realize, first you need to find what you care about and then pursue that vein, right? Instead of just pursuing monetary gain because that doesn't necessarily equate to happiness. So I just want, it's a very, very simple lesson, very fundamental, I believe. That's a more hot story. Um, came kicking and screaming, but I'm leaving, you know, happy and rejoicing. So.